Good Sunday morning, everyone. I'm Ashley Harding with your News for Jack's morning update. Hurricane Ian relief efforts are still ongoing down in southwest Florida. Task forces from other states, including Virginia, Massachusetts, and Ohio, have headed down to Fort Myers Beach in order to help. They currently have 1,000 task force members, including trauma surgeons and structural engineers working 12-hour shifts searching for people who may be trapped. Chief Financial Officer and State Fire Marshal Jimmy Patronis says as of Saturday, crews searched 6,000 homes that were devastated. Also, Putnam Flagler and St. Johns County residents impacted by Hurricane Irma can now apply for FEMA assistance. This may include help with temporary housing, basic home repairs, and certain other uninsured disaster-related needs. Survivors can apply for disaster assistance at disasterassistance.gov, or they can use the FEMA mobile app, or they can call 800 621-3362 from 7 a.m. to 11 p.m. The information you need to have handy in order to apply is posted on newsforjax.com. And today is the final day for St. Johns County residents to get free water at the county's four distribution sites that were launched to help residents as they clean out their homes following the impacts of Ian. Two locations are in St. Augustine, the other two are in Hastings. The exact addresses are also on newsforjax.com. Also breaking overnight, Jacksonville police are looking for the person who shot and killed a man near the Newtown neighborhood. This happened this morning around 1 o'clock on Wilcox Street, just off West 6th. The man died at the scene. JSO says it doesn't know what led up to the shooting, but officers are searching for witnesses, and anyone with information is asked to call police, or you can call Crime Stoppers. That was your Sunday morning Alexa update. I'm Ashley Harding. Have a great day.